Best Eye Center. Call today at 385 Eyes. The tragic news from Fort Hood has captured all of our attention, and the fact that the sole suspect is of Islamic faith raises questions in many minds. Karen Dubdub is the executive director of the Cincinnati chapter of the Council on America Islamic Relations, or CARE Ohio. And Karen, we thank you for coming in today. Thank you for having me. You know that so many people in America, lots of people feel that if you are of Islamic faith, if you are a Muslim, you must be a terrorist. You must want the downfall of Unfortunately, America. Unfortunately, yeah, there are a lot of people who think that way. And so I'll ask you straight up, is it true? How much Absolutely of it is true? Absolutely not. You know, there are, by different estimates, somewhere around six to eight million Muslims in this country. If all of them were terrorists, we would certainly know. <laughs> America is my country. You know, I was born and raised here. This is the land that I love. And I, don't, I would never want to do anything to hurt my country. In fact, when you have situations like, like this in Fort Hood, mm -hmm. and, and, and you heard his name, when you heard his name, did you just cringe? Absolutely. Why? Absolutely. Tell people why. Because these kinds of things have happened before, um, where there have been incidents that have you know, been, the perpetrator's been a Muslim, and immediately the focus comes on the entire faith community. Instead of on the individual, or instead of just on the individual and his or her actions, the focus comes on the rest of the community. It, and it's not fair because there are no. fringe elements and there are in people every who are community. mentally ill Absolutely. in every aspect. And there aspect. are criminals in every community. Of course. You know, this is a criminal action. It will be criminally prosecuted. And, you know, if, if it's found that he's guilty, which it looks like that's the case, then he needs to be punished, just like anybody who commits a crime against other people. So, in in fact, I, and I obviously you'll let me know if I'm wrong. Muslim faith is a very peace-loving faith, is it not? Absolutely. You know, the Quran says that if you take the the life of one innocent person, it's as if you kill all of humanity. That's how serious it is. So what, what happens at, at the, and by the way, there's not just one mosque in Cincinnati. We, no. we kind of tend to talk about the one way up on 75. Right. There are more than that. There are nine. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Most of them are very small, you know, for small segments of the community, and you probably wouldn't notice them driving around. The one in Westchester, of course, is very visible. Okay. And people should know there are 30,000 Muslims in Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. We've never had issues. Yeah. I mean, no. Are you getting backlash, though? Do you get backlash from... So far, you know, what we've heard from the president, and even from members of the of the higher rank in the military is you know urging everyone to remain calm and that's pretty much been what we've seen we've seen some nasty phone calls and emails but we haven't seen any violence and we're very thankful and I'm really I'm totally out of time but I, if you could say one thing to the folks watching right now what would it be if you want to learn about Islam and Muslims go and talk to a Muslim meet one uh, in person and find out what they're like they're nice people Okay, Karen, thanks so much for popping by. We'll have You're you back welcome. again some other time Thank and you. talk a little more. I think it's good to get this stuff out there for folks. Thank you very much. All right, country music fans, Robin Roberts goes home with Tim McGraw. We have a preview of tonight's special.